Happy Homecoming Raiders, I'm Eliza West. And I'm Barrett Pavlik. This week on RJTV... Some highlights from a busy week. Your weekly Raider sports update with a story on boys golf. And the return of an RJTV classic. All that and more this week on, on RJTV. RJTV. It's been a fun and busy week on campus. As a part of Hispanic Heritage Month, an exact digital replica from the Tilma of Juan Diego made a visit to campus. Students had the opportunity to view and pray over the replica in the chapel. Great job this week on our Spirit Week dress up days. From jerseys and jammies, to heroes and villains, to Western Wranglers and space travelers, it was a great week to show off the spirit that Homecoming Week is all about. Yesterday, the senior girls won the second annual girls flag football game at lunch in front of a big crowd. Nice work, seniors. RJTV reporter Owen Weiss was there to catch up with Mr. Alcorn about Spirit Week and today's pep rally. All right, I'm here with Mr. Alcorn part of the Spirit uh, Week director over here. Mr. Alcorn, what can you give us as far as this outcome of the girls uh, football game here? Uh, can you give us any sneak peeks to the pep rally this week? Yeah, I don't know, it was a great game. Uh, seniors played tough. We almost had a kind of a walk-off tie interception for a touchdown, so that was cool. I think both plays were great. Uh, coaches were awesome. I was really proud of them for that. As far as the pep rally, we're gonna bring out some of the hits. Rowdies will be there. Uh, we got the drum line's gonna be there. Silent Thunder, of course. Uh, knockout will be there. I think knockout's actually pretty wide open because Jimmy Buckets can't be there. So, you know, Ooh. if he's not there, anybody's got a shot. Uh, seniors got uh, something pretty big planned for the teachers as well. There's going to be a little relay. I'm not going to give you too much, but it's going to be awesome. Thank, Thank you here. so much. Stay tuned for the pep rally. We got this covered. See you all at the rally today. Can't wait. Me neither. This is such a busy time and the fun doesn't stop. Next week, the class of 2026 will make their first RJ retreat. Owen also caught up with some of the freshman retreat leaders yesterday at the lunchtime football game. I'm here with the freshman retreat leaders, Ava, Caroline, and Jacob over here. Uh, can you tell us one thing that we're excited for for the freshman retreat? We are going to have so much fun, variety of activities, come ready to have fun. What about on the boys division side? Uh, bonding. Mm. That's very good. And what is your guys' motto for this one? Participate, don't anticipate. We're super excited to invite the class of 2026 out onto our campus for their first retreat. Thanks, Owen. You were all over the place yesterday. Freshmen, have fun at your retreat next week. And a few reminders. Thursday is a half day, and freshmen, you will need to leave campus and come back between 5.30 and 6 to your respective gym. Friday, you'll need to be here between 8 and 8.30 and bring lunch, sleeping bag, pillow, and a change of clothes. Now let's turn it over to Manis and Francis for this week's Raider Sports Update. Happy Hoko Raiders, I'm Manis Largan. And I'm Francis Sullivan, and this is your Raider Sports Update. At the regional tournament last week, boys golf advanced all four players to state. Here's J.P. Robertson and Axel Powell with an inside look at the team. On Monday, the boys golf team heads off to state. Varsity golfers Jake, Eli, Cole, and Roland qualified during regionals. And for a head coach, Mr. Rogers, it's all about the players. The philosophy is that the team should be an extension of the mission of our school, right? And that it should contribute to their character and I say make, them, make you a better man. We try and make each other better just by building each other up, you know, supporting one another. I feel like I can just show the underclassmen what it means to be on the Regis golf team. It means a lot more than just playing golf. It's about being a good person and being excellent in everything we do. I'm so proud of them, first of all, by the way that they model those things. Uh, got Jake sitting over there, you know, as a senior. Uh, they, they notice, you know, when he's prudent and, you know, he hits a six iron off a tee, you know, instead of pulling out a driver, you know, when there's danger on both sides. The big thing is I practice a lot and so I work really hard. So I just trust that all my practice will pay off. I just really enjoyed playing golf and it's something I really just had a lot of fun with and I enjoy the grind of trying to be perfect in a sport that you can never really be perfect in. And while nothing is perfect in golf, the grind brings memories that last a lifetime. Greatest coaching memory. You know, oddly enough, 1996, we had a really good team. We almost won state. We got second. Fast forward, 2009, had a great team, almost won state, got second. I was really really frustrated and, and it's like gosh we were so close 2009 i realized it wasn't about me anymore 
I was just sad for those kids. One was when we won regionals. We had a little playoff, and that was really fun just to play against Cherry Creek in a playoff, and just I have really good memories from that. No matter the outcome of next week or at any tournament, for RJ Golf, it's all about the mission. When the culture gets built up correctly, Jake and the other seniors, you know, would have experienced that. Uh, I hope. I think I, I'm pretty sure I can say that from all of the seniors when they were young. And then that's, they love that, right? Who doesn't? You know, uh, a senior who's good to them as a freshman, pays attention to them, cares about them. And then they, uh, they grow into that and they become that. This is John Paul Robertson and Axel Powell for RJTV. Thanks, JP and Axel. Boys Tennis is also competing at State this week and next. They swept Boulder 7-0 Wednesday night in the first round and will face Ralston Valley tomorrow at Inverness at 9. Strong singles play from freshman Will Dickey and doubles play from juniors Augustine Asqui and Brady Jenkins make this team dangerous. Look for our story in the next episode on freshman Will Dickey. Field hockey beat St. Mary's 4-1 on Wednesday. Keep up the good work, ladies. Softball faces Thunder Ridge at 3.30 on Monday. Girls rugby will battle in the RJ Summit 7's tourney tomorrow. Cross Country had a great showing at the Rimrock Classic in Kansas last week. The boys took home second place and the girls sixth. They will run at Salida today and tomorrow. Boys soccer at home versus Ponderosa tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Lou Kellogg. Come cheer on the boys. And we will see you all tonight for the homecoming football game versus Douglas County at Lou Kellogg at 6.30. Go Raiders! Back to you, Eliza and Barrett. Thanks, Vanessa and Francis. See you all tonight at the homecoming game. A few reminders for the dance tomorrow. To attend, you must arrive between 8.45 and must stay until 10.15. There will be no coat check, so whatever you bring, you are responsible for. Finally, today on RJTV, Caleb and Reza bring back an RJTV instant classic. Roll the clip. Welcome back to another RJ Classic between two freshmen. My name is Reza Moadley. I'm here with Mr. Adam Lomas. Mr. Lomas, will you please sit up? Knew this was a bad idea. Caleb, I told you we should have got Miss Words. Well, let's try that again. Mr. Lomas, welcome in between two freshmen. Thank you to our freshmen for being here. Well, Mr. Lomas, you're the head jugger here at Regis Jesuit. How does that make you feel? And do you think there are increased amount of jugs since you've been on the uh, dress code committee? I know there's going to be one more jug tomorrow with your name on that list. How does that make you feel? How do you feel about leaving the equestrian club? Um, I didn't realize that we had an equestrian club. You know, you're the head of the girls division and you don't even know that we have an equestrian club. How does that make you feel? You're a senior and you didn't realize that you couldn't wear Crocs today, let alone Crocs that look like that. How does that make you feel? Mr. Lomas, you used to wrestle in high school, didn't you? I did. Is this you? That is me. First place, baby. Um, actually, my research team said that you actually got sixth place in this tournament. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that, Reza. You know what? That's going to be it for this week's episode. Well, that was interesting. Have a great weekend, everybody, and have a fun and safe homecoming. We will see you in two weeks for the next episode of RJTV.